Welcome to New Harvest Church in PL, Washington. It's a great place to be. About 12 years ago, my wife and I sensed a, a shift in, uh, in our direction of ministry. And we were looking to jump out and start a new church. Uh, we were looking for commercial properties. My dad and I came to Washington and went fishing. Going to this little town in PL, uh, somebody mentioned in town that this church hadn't had a pastor in a couple years. I thought, well, that's interesting. This, could be a, this is a great place. Who couldn't be a pastor here? And uh, so we got into the church and looked at the church and uh, I had one of the most powerful God moments I've ever experienced in my life. And God spoke to me about this community and he promised us the men in this community. It's a population of 600 right here, hardworking men. Well, loggers, a lot of construction workers. Uh, and so my wife and I accepted God's call we felt on our heart. We moved up here to Washington uh, with a big whopping 20 people in the church our first Sunday. Uh, we come from a large city in, in Northern California and uh, instantly questioned what we had done. Uh, but I'll tell you what, it wasn't too long until God started pouring souls into, uh, into our little facility right here. Over the past 10 years, there's been a, a huge decade that God has brought an unbelievable amount of growth, new conversion growth into New Harvest PL. Uh, we're so thankful to God for that. We are seeing the hearts and lives of men, women, husbands, wives, children, uh, we are truly seeing what the prophet said, that the hearts of fathers are being turned back toward their children. And uh, it's been beautiful growth. Presently, we have uh, a good, strong 175 people in our congregation right here, and we have to have a new facility. And so we've been planning this for about six years, and we're so excited about what God has led us to. And it's going to be an exciting journey from here on out. Through the growth that we have had in, the, in our uh, relationship with our community, uh, we've had such unbelievable stories of salvation and families and lives that God has transformed, marriages that God has put back together. We actually have two people in our, in our, or two couples in our church who were divorced and they're now remarried again to the same people. Uh, and so that's a really cool thing. In fact, we've got so many stories of, of wonderful things that God has done in lives. We, we put it into a book. Uh, so our church made a book of, it's called the Valley of Believers. Uh, and there's a story of some, uh, some of the, some of the lives that God has touched in our community. Uh, so we're so thankful for what God has done that has led us to this point that we need to build a new facility. We recognize it's not for us, it's for our community. We want to build a place where we can invite our friends. Uh, we actually give Get Out of Church free cards <laughs> here at New Harvest and PL. Uh, if you've got a, a family you want to go to church with uh, in another town, please go. Uh, we've, been, uh, we've been putting three people on two chairs for a long time. Uh, and so we're excited about this new prospect of building and have uh, really been excited to, to take this step and God has opened the doors. He's poured out uh, his blessing upon us to the point that we can't contain it. Uh, we see wonderful things happening. I mentioned that this is a logging community. Uh, well, I'm so thankful just because behind me at the job site right here, just a little earlier, when the logging crew got off work, they came and dropped off two rolls of tie par wrap that you put down as road base. For our, our parking lot expansion. They said, we want to we wanna help you build the church. And so that's an awesome thing. And that's how we're involved with the community. So through city council, we've got school teachers, we've got school board members, fire department. Uh, we are the community. And uh, so as God continues to give us inroads into the community, we'll continue to build this kingdom. And this is the process we're in now. When we consider building a new facility, we looked at several options of how to do this. Uh, we looked at adding on to our present facility, our present square footage of our sanctuary is pretty small, so it wasn't going to be hard to blow. We've already blown the walls out. Uh, we've raised the ceiling, blown all the walls out of there. We've expanded as far as we can expand. We found out from our county ordinances that if we were going to add, add on to our new building, that means that we're also going to have to put fire sprinklers through the whole thing, and that was going to double the cost of any facility we built. We reached out to our local loan consultant, our regional loan consultant with AG Financial. He actually came to our church business meeting and helped answer a ton of questions that we had. How do we do this? How do we do this? We had gone into our own in-house uh, campaign to raise funds for a new project and uh, raised $130,000 and thought, well, we got a good start on our new building. What should we do with that? Our regional loan consultant with AG Financial said, why don't you invest that with AG Financial and, uh, and these are the rates that we can offer and this is the process to do that. And so we did that. And uh, through that investment with AG Financial, the, just the interest itself on our, our, what we put in 
has paid for all of our engineering, all of our permit fees, all of our architecture fees, all of our septic to be installed, and so it's covered all of that. And so now, with the blessing of the community and, and uh, God opening the windows of heaven, uh, we are actually pouring our stem walls today, uh, and this is just an exciting time. So, so we're grateful to, in so many ways. We understand, just as the old chorus says, we'll give the glory to Jesus.